Dermot, first of all, uh, how have we sort of rocked up after Saturday? Any more injuries or any more issues? Uh, Are you all right? Joe McInerney's a, an injury. He's having an exploratory uh, camera on his knee uh, to find out uh, what's going on. So we'll lose Joe for a couple of weeks minimum, which is a big disappointment. Um, but everyone else trained this morning. Fantastic. And you've got Sanchez Watt and Connor Henderson on short-term deals mm. with the uh, idea of playing in, playing them and or them being involved tomorrow. Is that still the case? We're, we've got a hitch with Sanchez's uh, clearance. Um, oh, his international, his international clearance. International clearance, so that's delayed him. Connor will be on the bench. Um, Minute-wise, I've got to try and get minutes for Matt Harold. Jordan Roberts will get some minutes tomorrow. And then one other, so whether it's Connor or another, we'll see tomorrow. But Connor will be involved up to... We're now extending to the uh, Langley game, which is I think the 29th. Hopefully on the 29th. Yeah, yeah, so we're going to have those guys here for the month anyway, which is helping both of us. We're through already to the next round of this competition, but it would be great to get that home time the next round, wouldn't it? And for that, we need to get a positive result tomorrow. Yeah, I think so. I think the, 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 the opportunity for the boys to play who haven't been playing, you know, are you Chris Arthur, even Jason Banton now, Addison Garnett making a, a, a sort of return second half, is to show me for now, where we go up to just after Christmas, who who's going to play in the team? You know, and I really want that competition for rotation places. That should hopefully project us to perform well tomorrow. And yeah, get a home home time, which will be nice. But also get a few more coppers in the uh, bin for Kelly. And great uh, night for the lads to play down at Southampton and St Mary's. Obviously, it won't be full by any means, but a, a Premier League sta yeah. stadium and, and great facilities. Yeah. yeah, I've been there with Chelsea a few times, and it is a wonderful pitch, wonderful stadium. And um, listen, if the crowds aren't what they are at the moment, we, we've got to just get on with the game and um, perform. You're obviously uh, steeped in your career in academy football. We haven't played uh, the two games in this competition so far, both been against league clubs. Tomorrow's going to be slightly different, Southampton under-23s. What sort of game is it going to be, do you think? Well, I know Martin Hunter really well, and I think they'll play a technical game um, with a good tactical element to them. Um, and I'm looking, at, I'm looking at seeing how we come up against a good tactical side um, that play, perhaps will press us and they'll try and play out, and we've got to decide. I'm just going in with Matt now um, to do our planning for the boys for tomorrow. So I think it'll be a good game um, and a very good technically because the pitch will be perfect and we'll, we'll, I think both sides will really try and play good football. Last question, FA Cup draw last night. I know we still want to play the replay with Bristol but an incentive in the second round for the winners, a home tie in the next round. Yeah, I think that's as far as I'd go um, with that. Um, I think we, we can only talk about Bristol Rovers, you know, and uh, well, it's going to be a fantastic night there for, for us. I really think we've got a good opportunity there. Um, it'll be a brilliant atmosphere that Matt and I experienced when we went v Fleetwood Town. Um, and then we hopefully go through and then, yeah, home time.